Right, what we've got here, we've got the front view and the top view of this transition piece connecting to these two, two little pieces of pipe. When you're drawing this thing, you don't need to be drawing those two little pieces of pipe. Um, you are only drawing this section over here, which you can see is drawn up over here. I'm going to show you how to go about doing, drawing that. Right, to start with, um, on the diagram over here, you can see that the person that was drawing it was using what they call the cone generator method in order to get the true lengths. Um, I'm going to go through what true lengths you have and what you don't. Okay, you've got a front view and a top view. Um, you can see that I've got A, B, C, and D. And up at the top over here, A, B, C, and D. Okay, if I look over here, I can see that I've got true lengths over here. Why? Because I've got a line that is parallel, AB, and up here it is still parallel. Therefore, both of those lines are going to be true lengths. I've got a point view of BC over here, so this length over here is going to be a true length as well, and the same goes for A and D. Um, the base, the same story applies. I've got parallel lines and point views, therefore the base over here, I've got true lengths for that as well. What we don't have are true lengths for these lines going from A down to A1. Um, reason being is that A down to A1 and A down to A1 in both of those views are going at an angle to an XY axis. If I drew an XY axis, it's not parallel, therefore neither of those two are going to be, uh, are going to be true lengths. I need to be able to find those in order to draw the true lengths. Okay? That length over there needs to be a true length. Right. How do I do that? Well, there are two methods that can be used. Either we take our pair of compasses, extend them to the length of A1 over there, draw it up to a line that extends out um, from A, and then I draw a line up to a line that extends out from 1, and what I end up with is a line going from there to there, giving me the, the true length. Um, unfortunately, in your matric exam, they don't really want you to do that. They want to see a little graph on the side showing you where you're getting your true lengths. All right, so what you need to do is you basically doing the same thing, taking that length over there, that's not a true length, you place it on a little graph over here, and you mark off that that is number one, and A at the top over there, where did I get A from? I took it straight across. One, where did I get it from? I took it straight across, and from that point over there, from that 90 degree to there is that distance, and I can now draw in that line. I'm going to just use red over here, signifying that I've got the true length of A and 1. Um, if you look on this diagram, you'll see that there is another line which is exactly the same true length as that. Um, both uh, A1 and D4, they are both the same lengths. Um, the other true length that you also don't have is this over here. You've got both B2 um, and B2 over here. Neither of those are, at, um, uh, are parallel to the XY axis, so neither of those can be a true length. What I need to do is I need to get my pair of compasses set to that length of B2. I take that up to the little graph over here, and I mark down that I've got two over here, and up at the top, I'm also going to have a B. This over here, I'm going to get my true length, B2, okay, and uh, that's the same as that length over there. Obviously, if these lengths were different, you'd have to find the true lengths using the same method. Right, um, so I can start out and I can say, that's easy enough, I'm going to draw in a length of line of the distance of A, A1. Take that, get that length, come over here, mark it off, and this length is from A to 1. I'll just draw it in with the red so that you can see it. All right. Um, I know what the distance is from A to B. That is a true length over there. So I take my distance AB, I go to my point A over here, and I make a little arc. What I don't know is what the true length is from 1 to B. All right, so I need to find what that true length is. Same story, I'm going to take this length from B down to 1 over there. I come across to my little graph over here, 
I make a little mark. Just finish that off over there. And I can draw in that true length going from. Okay. From B going down to 1 over there. B going down to 1. I can now come over here and I can say, okay, from 1 to B is over there. And I've just drawn that arc in showing me where B is according to A. So what I can do now is I can draw in this little line going from A to B. And they want you to show all your constructions. So just a nice little chain line idea going down from there to there. Right, once I've got that, I now need to go... Um, from B going down to 2, all right? Um, do I have a true length going from 1 to 2? Yes, I do. I've got a true length going from 1 to 2, so I can take that true length over there, go to 1 over here, make a little arc. Somewhere along that line, I'm going to have a 2. Do I have a true length of B2? Where do I get that from? I take it from this over here, from B to 2. Take that, make a little arc over there, and I now have this length of line going across there. Right, once I've got that, um, I can now draw in 1 to 2. Okay, what, what do I need from now? I need a line going from B to C. So I need to take that true length, BC. Go to B over here. Make a little arc. Okay. What do I need? Well, I need a line going from 2 to C. Okay? You can't see it because it's actually underneath that line. But I can get that length over here. B to C. I mean 2 to C. 2 to C. I take that across over here. Mark that off. So I've got C at the top. And 2 down over there. Just going to draw that in. Right, so I can take that length now, 2 to C, which you can't see. And I've got this point over here, which I should have labeled 2. I mark that off. And where those two intersect over there, so B going to C, 2 going to C, that would be this little line that I've just drawn in over here. Draw that in. Okay, once I've got that, where am I going? I'm needing a length of line, uh, 3 to C. Okay, I come over here. 3 to C, I say, is the same length as um, B to 2. So I can take that length, and I can go 3 to C. That little point over there is C. I can now take this length over here, true length of 2 to 3. Two to three, go over here, mark that off. That's point three. Draw that in very quickly. There to there. Okay, once I've got that, I now need to go from C to D. Take the measurement from C to D. C to D. I know that the um, the distance that I'm needing from, uh, I know the distance from C to 4, okay, so I can take that, take that distance C to 4 over here, that's easy enough to take that distance, C to 4, let's go over there, mark that off, um, I need a distance from 3 to 4, Got that true length over there, 3 to 4, mark that off, so that's point 0.4 over there. Um, I need this distance 4 to D, well I've just marked off a little arc over here saying where D is going to be. Um, I need the true length from 4 to D, that's the same as A to 1, so I come over here and knock that in there and I've found point D. And draw that in. 
I can draw that in and uh, I can draw in this little construction story over there. Um, once I've got that, I need to go from D to A, okay? This is the last little story, so I can come over here and I can say D to A. D to A, knock that in there. Do I have a true length from four to A? I need to find that. Four to A is from here to here. So I come along here and I say four to A is from there to there. Found my A point over there. Can draw in that orange. No, sorry, that's not right. I need to actually find that length. Four to A is that length. Take that. Mark that off. I need to get the true length over there of 4a. Okay, there we go. Come over here and get that true length of 4a. A very different mark. There we go. All right, so a is at that point, not at that point that I just drew. Okay, 4a. That's this little orange line over here. And I can now draw in a line going between those two points. Draw a line going between those two points. What I need is a distance from 4 to 1. I've got this true length over here from 4 to 1. Off here. 4 to 1. Knock that in there. Make an arc. Have I got a true length from A to 1? Yes, I do. We can take that off over there. A to 1. Plant it in there. And I can now finish this development off. There to there. And there to there. It's the end.